Hey y'all! Welcome to the seventh episode of Space Telescopes, a fully dedicated series for tweets and observations from space. NASA Universe As the fuel burns out in around 4 billion years, our Sun, the G-Class star will turn into a white dwarf, while expelling outer gas shell into a beautiful planetary nebula, like the Helix Nebula seen here. A decade-long puzzle, of abundance in positron over other antimatter particles close to Earth, could be answered by this halo. At 40 times the size of full moon in sky, this gamma-ray halo and is tracked back to a pulsar, with data from Fermi and other observatories. Scientists suspect this particular pulsar to be the reason for abundance of antimatter. If you already know LISA, you are awesome. Laser Interferometer Space Antenna, or LISA, is the space equivalent of LIGO and Virgo observatories used for detecting gravitational waves. LISA can detect very fine gravitational waves with much more accuracy and precision. The prototype laser for this mission was delivered to Swiss Center for Electronics and Microtechnology, for testing purposes. The High Energy Stereoscopic System, or HESS Observatory in Namibia, detected very high energy light from a gamma ray burst a billion light years from Earth. Combined with Fermi and Swift observations, we have got new clues about what powers these incredible cosmic explosions. Swift mission not only observed cosmic explosions, but also icy comets. When Comet 41P was spotted in 2017, astronomers found it to be rotating once every 20 hours. But when Swift observed it in May, the comet's rotation period was more than double. This is the most abrupt rotational change ever observed on a comet. 41P is smaller than most of the so-called Jupiter family comets, and is very active. So astronomers think, a particularly active area produced strong enough jets, that aligned just the right way, applying brakes to the comet's spin. Find more about it from the link in description. Hubble, ESA From sports to favorite TV shows, we have watched our favorites, more than once. This time, would you like a cosmic replay? Scientists have predicted a supernova replay in 2037. This supernova was last seen in 2016. Due to immense gravitational lensing by the foreground galaxy cluster, Max J0138, the light from the supernova will be seen in 16 years from now. ESA Hubble flashback, appearing to hang like a halo in the emptiness of space, this neat little galaxy is known as NGC 4526. Hubble Space Telescope Home sweet home. Discovered in the 1960s, a gas cloud, largely comprising of hydrogen is plummeting towards our galaxy at 700,000 miles per hour or 1.1 million kilometers per hour. When astronomers looked for its origins, they were surprised to find its chemical composition matching with our own galaxy. Last left 70 million years ago, it will plow back in another 30 million years. This system, known as ARP-299, or NGC-3690 is a pair of interacting galaxies, that came close to each other some 700 million years ago. As a result of interaction, this system underwent a fierce star formation, resulting in at least six supernovae in under two decades. Find more about them from the link in description. Hubble, NASA Listen to the sonified data, from Hubble Optical Image of Westerland 2 Star Cluster. The optical data is played by strings, with volume indicated by brightness.
These triplets, two large galaxies and one small on the left, seem to overlap, but are actually distant from each other. At 400 million light-years, this system, ARP-274, located in the constellation Virgo, was captured using Wide Field Camera 2 on Hubble. Read about the color codes of this image in the link below. Did you watch the Inspiration team being launched to space? Did they inspire you? They were not alone in inspiring people. They shared ride with a Hubble 30th anniversary patch. Hubble thanked them on bringing the symbol of exploration to space, taking it beyond Hubble itself. NASA Exoplanets Scientists have discovered more than 4,500 exoplanets so far. But, do you still wonder what they are and what we know about them? Watch the YouTube video by NASA to find out. Link in description. Of course, we all might have wondered if aliens exist. But how about an answer from an astrobiology expert working at NASA? Find out what Dr. Lindsay Hayes says, in the YouTube video from NASA. Last week alone NASA added two new exoplanets to their long list. One orbits two suns while, the other planet, a super-hot Jupiter is in close retrograde orbit around its host star. Both these weirdos were found from data collected by TESS. Chandra Observatory as Chandra observes a star in Aquarius, nearby is this planetary nebula, NGC 7009. At about half a light year across, it hosts a white dwarf shining 20 times as bright as our sun, in the center. Remember sonification of Westerland 2 Hubble data? Here's the sonification of X-ray data from Chandra played by Bells, followed by a combination of both. Isa Euclid Did you already know about this dark energy hunter? If not, check out the article by Wired, to know about this telescope launching in the second half of next year. Link is in the description. Space Telescope Science Institute What looks like galaxy clusters from computer simulations, are actually cities Washington DC and Baltimore, as captured from space station last year. While DC is home to NASA headquarters, Baltimore is home to Space Telescope Science Institute, which helps guide Hubble's science operations, and soon for James Webb too. Finally, thanks to these magnificent engineering marvels we see beyond our reaches and behind in time. And thanks to you friends, for your patience. Check the video description for links.